Let's build some racing robots. Hi, my name is Emily, and in today's Make With Me video, I'll race you. What's the fastest robot you can build? Is it helpful to add more cubelets? What happens when we add more sense cubelets to a robot? I made a race course that is three strides long. When I measured it, it was about four and a half feet, and it took my robot 30 seconds to get to the finish line. How long did it take yours? Play around with your robot design. Can you make a robot that's even faster? What sense cubelet is the fastest for you? Did you try adding a second sense cubelet to your robot? What happened? Did it go faster or slower? Fun fact, cubelets listen to all the sense cubelets in a robot, and then they choose the most medium speed or brightness or loudness. We call that the average. Don't believe me? Try it. Can you come up with a robot that uses two sensors that goes even faster than your original robot? Why do you think that works? Or does it? Do all the cubelets in a robot listen to the sense cubelets exactly the same amount? No! It turns out cubelets listen more to the sense they're closest to. We call it the weighted average, and it lets us build steering robots and maze solvers. What's the fastest robot you made? Show us your design, improve upon ours, or comment with questions below. Thanks for watching and taking some time to make with me.